hope this project will one day translate to greater access for thousands of other Americans seeking their individual pathways to freedom. Amtrak's $6 billion Frederick Douglass Tunnel program is finally underway. For years, the crumbling old tunnel in Baltimore has slowed trains to a crawl, creating one of the worst bottlenecks on the NEC. Now, a replacement plan promises faster trains, increased reliability, and modernized infrastructure. Backed by stakeholders, this project marks a major investment in American rail. But can it truly fix the aging infrastructure choking this corridor? And what will it mean for riders, communities, and the region's economy? Let's break it down. Opened in 1873, when Ulysses S. Grant was president, the Baltimore and Potomac Tunnel is the oldest tunnel in Amtrak's network and a critical link on the Northeast Corridor, connecting Baltimore's Penn Station to Washington, D.C. and beyond. Every day, nearly 750,000 Amtrak and commuter customers travel on the NEC, and around 6 million Amtrak passengers per year rely on travel through this tunnel alone. Originally designed for 19th century trains, the 1.4-mile tunnel now presents major challenges for the 14 million Amtrak and Mark riders who depend on it annually. Its aging structure suffers from water infiltration, a sinking floor, and outdated design features like tight curves and low clearances, which force trains to slow down to just 30 miles per hour. A particularly sharp curve inside the tunnel is a key contributor to this slowdown. These physical constraints create one of the worst bottlenecks in the entire NEC. In fact, four tracks are reduced to just two inside the B&P tunnel, limiting capacity and causing frequent delays. This chronic congestion impacts over 10% of weekday trains and occurs on nearly 99% of weekdays. Moreover, the tunnel's outdated design prevents the installation of modern fire and life safety systems. Because the B&P tunnel is a single tube, any maintenance work on one track requires shutting down both tracks, effectively halting all train movement through the tunnel, affecting more than 19,000 daily commuters and disrupting national rail connectivity. Amtrak crews currently conduct intensive, costly maintenance to manage issues like deteriorating masonry and water infiltration. Rail teams inspect the tunnel multiple times each week just to keep it safely operational. Yet, these stopgap efforts can only go so far. According to the Federal Railroad Administration, FRA, the B&P tunnel is one of the most serious infrastructure vulnerabilities on the Northeast Corridor. Amtrak's Frederick Douglass Tunnel Program will resolve these challenges. The program, named in honor of a Maryland native, abolitionist, and frequent railroad passenger who seeks to modernize the corridor, enhance connectivity, and bring lasting benefits to the Baltimore region. Representing Amtrak's largest single project to date, in partnership with the state of Maryland. With a total investment of approximately $6 billion, the new system includes a brand new tunnel with four tracks and full electrification, eliminating the need for diesel-powered locomotives and greatly reducing emissions. Amtrak and Maryland are also working to fully electrify the Penn Line, which will allow for even faster, cleaner service throughout the corridor. The program delivers a wide array of benefits that extend far beyond immediate infrastructure upgrades, reaching communities, regional economies, and environmental goals across the Northeast Corridor. On the performance side, this new tunnel will dramatically cut travel time between downtown Baltimore and Washington, D.C., reducing marked train trips to as little as 22 minutes, down from current averages of 40 plus. The program is expected to eliminate nearly seven hours of train delays on an average weekday and save rail customers around 450,000 hours annually. This improved reliability and speed is projected to spark significant ridership growth, drawing more travelers back to rail with a smoother, faster experience. For the economic benefits, the construction phase alone is expected to generate 30,000 jobs including roughly 20,000 direct construction jobs, most of which do not require a college degree, creating a major pathway for skilled trades and union labor. But the opportunity doesn't stop at construction. The project will also open the door to new contracts for local businesses and suppliers, especially minority and women-owned firms, creating a ripple effect of economic growth throughout Baltimore and the greater region. Environmentally, this is a major step forward. The move to electrified high-speed rail will provide a low-emissions alternative to cars and short-haul flights, 
aligning with national climate goals, and helping to reduce the carbon footprint of regional transportation. Locally, Amtrak's $50 million community investment program reflects a broader commitment to equity and inclusion. Funds are being directed into workforce training, youth programs, parks and recreation, and neighborhood revitalization in historically underserved communities such as Reservoir Hill and Sandtown Winchester. Amtrak has also responded to community feedback and concerns, especially after a civil rights complaint in 2023. By improving transparency, expanding public engagement, and updating its Community Benefits Agreement. Since March 2024, the agency has hosted bi-monthly public meetings to hear directly from residents and ensure the project reflects community needs and priorities. Ultimately, the Frederick Douglass Tunnel Program isn't just about faster trains. It's about creating a more accessible, connected, and sustainable future for Baltimore and the entire Northeast Corridor. The Frederick Douglass Tunnel Program is being rolled out in a phased, multi-year construction plan running from 2023 through 2035. This long-term approach allows Amtrak and its partners to coordinate a massive infrastructure upgrade while minimizing disruptions on the Northeast Corridor, one of the busiest rail corridors in the country. The program began in 2023 with early construction work focused on clearing the path, literally and figuratively, for what's to come. This included site preparations, utility relocation, and upgrades to existing access routes. At the same time, Amtrak launched its final design phase, converting decades of planning and engineering studies into detailed, construction-ready plans. Critical to this phase was also property acquisition, as Amtrak secured necessary land and underground rights to make space for the new tunnel, bridges, and stations. Once the groundwork was in place, crews moved into utility relocation and demolition. These steps cleared the path for full-scale construction to begin. With the site prepared, major construction is now underway. This centerpiece phase includes building two brand new tunnel tubes, each approximately two miles long, specifically designed for high-speed electrified Amtrak and Mark passenger trains. Alongside tunnel construction, the program involves the replacement of aging roadway and railroad bridges, as well as the installation of new rail systems, modern tracks, and supporting infrastructure. A key improvement is the implementation of modern fire and life safety systems, addressing critical deficiencies in the existing tunnel, which lack such protections, thereby boosting safety and reliability for millions of passengers. Amtrak anticipates phased system integration and tunnel boring to begin in 2025, with full completion targeted for 2035. Another key milestone within the program is the complete rebuild of the West Baltimore Mark Station. This new station will offer a better passenger experience while ensuring accessibility for all riders, a significant win for equity and inclusion. By the early 2030s, work will begin to wind down as crews shift their focus toward final integration, testing, and commissioning of the new systems. The new West Baltimore Mark Station will open to the public first, followed by the long-anticipated debut of the Frederick Douglass Tunnel itself. Once complete, riders will benefit from a safer, more efficient and electrified rail experience, one that is faster, cleaner, and built for the 21st century. The tunnel program is estimated to cost $6 billion, with funding secured through multiple sources. Up to $4.7 billion from Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act FRA discretionary grants, awarded in fiscal year 22 to 23. Contributions $1.2 billion from Amtrak and the Maryland Department of Transportation, ensuring a collaborative funding model. In a notable shift toward modern project delivery, Amtrak introduced its first-ever delivery partner model in April 2024. The advanced team was selected to share in project risk and provide oversight across design, construction, and contract administration. This program faces substantial challenges, including early stage planning and governance shortfalls to ongoing community concerns, and the inherent complexity of large-scale infrastructure delivery. A comprehensive review by the Amtrak Office of Inspector General, OIG, in October 2024, showing the deficiencies in Amtrak's project readiness. The report highlighted that Amtrak had not completed essential planning activities, including risk management, scheduling, and documentation protocols even as major construction activities were imminent. These planning gaps could elevate the risk of delays and cost overruns. 
Organizational capacity has been a key constraint. When the Capital Delivery Department assumed control of the program in 2022, staffing consisted of a single program manager. By late 2023, the team expanded to seven, including an assistant vice president, yet five members reported being overwhelmed. Furthermore, the onboarding of the selected delivery partner was delayed by over a year, postponing the establishment of a robust management framework intended to oversee contract integration, design coordination, and risk mitigation. Funding coordination adds another layer of complexity. Administering this multi-source funding stream across federal, state, and local stakeholders requires continuous interagency coordination and fiscal accountability particularly given the evolving project scope and inflationary pressures in the construction sector. Equally critical are the concerns voiced by communities directly impacted by the project. Civil rights complaint was filed with the U.S. Department of Transportation by residents of West Baltimore, including the Reservoir Hill neighborhood. The complaint challenges Amtrak's plan to acquire over 10 acres of surface and subterranean property rights for tunnel construction, raising fears about property devaluation and long-term impacts on predominantly black and low-income communities. Amtrak has responded with a series of bi-monthly public engagement sessions as part of its community investment program. These meetings aim to improve transparency and solicit local input, yet many residents continue to express skepticism regarding the project's equity implications. The challenge ahead lies in balancing regional infrastructure goals with local community interests particularly in historically underserved neighborhoods such as Sandtown Winchester and Reservoir Hill. From an engineering and construction standpoint, the program's scope is technically complex. It entails complex upgrades, so these efforts must be carefully sequenced and delivered within the constraints of active rail operations on a corridor that hosts more than 2,200 trains per day. Any misalignment between planning, execution, and interagency cooperation could trigger delays. Given the scale of investment and the ambitious benefits, is the Frederick Douglass Tunnel Program truly worth it? The potential is clear, but the challenges remain significant, from early planning shortfalls to community concerns and complex project delivery. So the real question is this, can the project ultimately deliver on its promise of transforming rail travel in the Northeast Corridor? Or is it still too early to say with confidence? If you care about the future of American rail, infrastructure planning, and transportation equity, consider subscribing to this channel. Your support helps us keep the conversation going around the projects shaping the next generation of mobility. Thanks for tuning in today, everyone.